What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and in this video I'll be taking a look at some BB-8 gameplay from myself, and I actually, in this gameplay, did not get a chance to be the Sith one, because if you are trying to play Battlefront 2, it actually is quite difficult to even get BB-8, as well as the Sith version of BB-8. But anyways, here's a quick peek at some of his skills, if you have yet to see those. The cool thing about him is that he has three more passive abilities as well as your three usual ones and honestly bb8 as well as the sith version of him are both pretty good like i'm not gonna lie they're both pretty solid i thought you know it's possible that they could be bad besides of the fact that people can throw you around like a ping pong ball but i thought that they'd be kind of bad but no they're actually pretty decent and obviously i just started playing them he came out this morning so i have not gotten any cards but um some of the beginner cards you know they're pretty similar to some of the other heroes they either buff your health or your stamina or also your uh, just some of your abilities in one way or another you know make you do less damage things like that so going over his three abilities first so his three main abilities is l1 you know r1 l1 and then his r1 ability so first his main special ability it's pretty good uh it's pretty solid for i guess what he is a little tiny robot so with this ability he pretty much just flings around uh, little ropes or I guess I don't know what you want to call them I guess ropes around him and he does in a relatively small circle but it does actually do a decent amount of damage if enemies are in that circle so in terms of heroes versus villains you're not going to necessarily be able to just take villains like one-on-one -on -one or heroes one-on-one -on -one, you know depending on what team you are on but you actually can probably do some pretty decent damage I would say it would be relatively difficult to just straight up be one-on-one -on -one versus Darth Vader or something like that but if you do actually get them in sort of a sneak attack and you do get some decent damage and use your R1 ability you can actually hurt and kill some heroes even in some cases like you could see right there, I actually did kill Darth Vader with my headbutt ability. And actually one of the best counters to BB-8 as well as the Sith version of him is just simply the other droid. Like if you are the other droid going 1v1, it is somewhat difficult to kill each other. But if you just simply spam your attack as well as use some of your abilities, you actually can kill them relatively easily. Um, being a hero, I have noticed it was kind of annoying trying to kill BB-8, especially if you are a shooter because BB-8 is just simply hard to hit. But on the contrary, if you are BB-8 going against a shooter, I'd recommend getting just kind of swerving, getting out of their view as soon as you can, just simply because it is like relatively hard for them to shoot you and you are so small. See, like right here in this scene, I'm not going to take Darth Vader one-on-one. -on -one. That just really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. I do use my special ability near him, though, in a second here, I believe, and I actually do pretty good. See, as you can see here, I actually am getting some damage, but Darth Vader uses his choke and pretty much just messes me up with that. So... One thing I hope they add or improve a little bit is that when you evade with BB-8, it's not bad. Like You do a little quick roll, but it seems like you can't really evade out of uh, like the Jedi's or the Sith's main ability powers. So like their chokes and their throws and things like that. Definitely had a lot of trouble being able to evade those, but that's kind of the same thing as the uh, normal Jedi. But one thing that is nice because of the fact that you are so quick and so small, if you do think that they are going to do one of their abilities, it is somewhat easy to just simply like roll out of the way, not necessarily evade, but just simply get out of their entire um, area of where they're going to hit with that attack. So that is nice as well. And then moving on to some of their other abilities as well. And this video, I'll just specifically be talking about BB-8 because I've really only played as him so far. So with BB-8, his L1 and his R1 abilities, both of them are actually pretty solid. The L1 ability isn't doesn't really do any damage or anything like that, as far as I can see. Maybe perhaps in the future they'll make it do damage because um, honestly for BB-8 to be good, I feel like all his abilities need to do a pretty decent amount of damage. But um, either way, with BB-8's L1 ability, it is pretty nice. It kind of makes it so you can see um, enemies around you. It does a little scanning thing. That is somewhat helpful, whether you're playing Heroes vs. Villains or just normal like Capital Supremacy, whatever it may be. And then, in terms of his R1 ability, his R1 ability is actually really good, and in my opinion, the best out of these three abilities, because the R1 L1's alright, but you're not going to really be able to take down a Jedi by yourself or anything like that. But the Headbutt ability is actually super, super good, and it actually is, I would say, an equivalent to almost Han Solo's, uh, Han Solo's shoulder charge, which is kind of difficult to say, but... Um, so that ability is actually really good, his R1 ability. And then his L11, like I said, it doesn't really do 
any damage, but it still is somewhat helpful. And then moving on to their, its passive abilities, actually. So in my opinion, its passive abilities make it the best out of uh, all of its abilities, just especially for heroes versus villains and any sort of supremacy one. But as you can see right here, I kind of am able to sneak up on them. Uh, Ray bails me out right there, so it is somewhat helpful to have Jedi's, you know, kind of bail you out if you are going one on one, because you're likely going to die. But um, getting back to the passive abilities, so with the passive abilities, uh, they are really good because they basically just give your team buffs just all the time, so it is very, very helpful. And then, you know, there's not another hero really that does that. Like Yoda has a kind of good one that can heal people, um, Finn has a couple decent ones. But then on the dark side, I don't know who, if, if any heroes actually have any good like uh, abilities that are able to heal your teammates or help them recharge faster, but um, BB-8 does have that as well as the Sith version of them, so that is quite helpful and it actually is pretty good. And as you can see in a circumstance like this, I use that L1 ability and it actually I think helped me and my teammates out quite a bit, but I mean like right here, I would not be able to take Darth Maul on one on one, but it does help obviously when there's other Jedi on your team, which you know there's pretty much always going to be, but I mean right here with uh, Anakin's help, I do we do actually do pretty decent versus him, but he still does manage to kill me, but I will definitely blame that on Anakin a little bit more than me. But um, in terms of the Sith BB-8 as well, because I know you guys are, are probably going to try to use him, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I had much more luck getting the normal just BB-8 as I'm playing right here than the Sith version of him. So uh, with that, I don't know why. Uh, I, I really I, I don't know if people just uh, like him better or he is just like uh, more fun to play with or something like that. Personally, I would just prefer to play with BB-8 just because of the... Um, just because of the, you know, uh, actually being from the story and being more of a main character and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, the Sith version of him isn't bad either. Uh, when I was going against him, he pretty much seems equivalent to uh, BB-8. He doesn't seem like he uh, has any shortcomings, and it does look like he has the same passive abilities as well as generally the same uh, offensive abilities, the R1, L1, but they are a little bit different. And their boost cards also seem to be similar as well, which kind of makes sense because they're basically just different versions of each other on different sides. So um, I do get why they do that as well. But overall, um, I actually wouldn't mind, like not necessarily maining one of these characters, but just using one of them, like kind of often, especially if in uh, capital supremacy and game modes like that. The only bad part I could see is if you are in a situation where there's a lot of troopers far away from you and you can't really get into hiding, this could be annoying. But the nice thing about BB-8 is that he is super, super, um, super mobile. He is able to get around very fast. And actually in game modes where you do capture objectives, he captures, he captures them as two people rather than one. So that is really, uh, really, really nice. So um, other than that, guys, that's really it for this video. I'm just going to let the gameplay go out a little bit and talk about that as well. But, you know, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I talk about video games. I play Battlefront. Um, not, don't really play too much Fortnite anymore, but I do also post videos and play GTA 5 as well as uh, Red Dead Redemption. But right now, I actually have been playing a ton of Battlefront because, in my opinion, it is just really quite fun and it's been a really good game. And I do like that they're up updating it as well. Hopefully, they'll bring more and more people to the game. And uh, honestly, I, I don't think I'm going to main BB-8, but I think I definitely will level him up quite a bit because, uh, to be honest, I don't really like playing as Finn if you're on the Rebel side, and I don't really like playing as Rey either, but she obviously is the best Rebel Jedi because I think she's actually the only Jedi you can get when you're the Rebels. But as you can see here um, from this gameplay, I actually did do pretty decent. You know, I got a decent score for having no cards at all with him and my first time playing as him, so it actually wasn't that bad. But uh, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.